why you hit your head. I'm trying to make a video here. Anyway, what's up everybody? It's Brianna Monet. I've got a DIY for you today. I'm trying to think of, well, I was thinking of like a, what is it called? Heartfelt gift that I could give to a friend of mine because I missed her birthday. So, I'm gonna be making a um, handed a scarf out of this soft fabric that I got from, uh, what is it called? Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so stick around. I'm gonna try to talk you through it, but this is my first time, so just bear with me, okay? Okay. So here I'm starting to make the first loop with the string. So you're gonna cross over and bring the working string through the loop. And I'm gonna show you that again in just a second. Again, make a loop and then bring the working string through the middle of the loop. And then you're gonna take that same working thread and pull it through the first loop. I'm gonna show you again. and you start to see a chain form, and you wanna do five. So after you make the last loop, you're gonna start a new row, and you wanna pull your working thread through the last loop, but you wanna pull it up versus to the side. So just like that. So the next loop that you're gonna create you're gonna pull the working thread through one of the loops from the bottom chain. I'm gonna show you that again here. So you're gonna find the loop from the bottom chain and you're gonna pull your working thread through that. And you don't wanna make the loops too big. Um, you may have fluffier fabric than I had um, but mine wasn't that fluffy, so I didn't want to leave any gaps. So I tried to make my loops very tight and small. So I've come to the end of my fabric pretty much and it's time to um, connect the two ends. So I'm going to lay both of the ends on top of each other. Now actually here when I came to the end I realized that I had a lot more fabric than I needed to close it off. So I'm just going to um, go back and make another row or two before I actually seal it off. Now I'm ready to go ahead and um, combine the two ends and I'm just going to take the working fabric and feed it through the loops from the beginning of the scarf that we started and the end pieces and I'll show you how I do that here. And there's really no rhyme or reason um, to which loops I'm putting them through or a method and how I'm doing it. I'm just finding the loops and fishing the thread through um, and you know I make a couple knots here and there but I don't believe you have to cut it anywhere it won't unravel um, you know if you get it worked in there good enough
and this is the final look guys thank you so much for watching see you next time bye